Hey guys, how are you? So why is using APIs standard in modern day development? There are two big reasons. Reason number one, they save you a lot of time. With APIs, which is short for Application Programming Interface, these are basically ways for you to access third party apps that are typically sitting on the web and you can access them, typically you pay a little fee adding lots of functionality to your website. So it could be simple things like adding a scraper functionality where you can, instead of building a scraper from scratch, which you can do with Python, for example, well, many languages, but there's all these little gotchas in creating a scraper. And this is just an example. So by using a third party scraper that is exposed to you, meaning it allows you access to that third party scraper program, via their API, Application Programming Interface, an interface that's done by programming to a certain application. I hope that kind of makes sense. Anyway, so you would use this third-party API to save you time. So instead of writing the scraper from scratch, you know, might as well just pay a small fee and access the API of the scraper. So question that comes up, when would you use an API versus building from scratch? You would use an API for certain functionality that may be important for your application, but not the center reason for your application. This video is sponsored by API Layer. API Layer is an API marketplace that lists proprietary and third-party web APIs and makes them available to developers and businesses of all sizes. So why would you want to use API Layer? It's a marketplace and the APIs are vetted, so you have a reliable source of APIs to choose from. So let's take a look at some editor's picks. So they got the uh, file stack API, code detection API. Detect, label, format, enrich the code in your app or in your data pipeline. We go back, let's say email verification. Email verification API validates and verifies an email address assessing deliverability and quality, easy to implement and test, good documentation. One good thing about API Layer is that it is a marketplace. As I said, things are vetted, but you can actually submit your own APIs and start using APIs as a way of passive income for yourself as a developer. So pretty cool, check it out, API Layer. So for example, you have a website for a business and you wanna add mapping functionality to that business, meaning you want to add a visual interactive map that viewers of that business's website can interact with, click on it, maybe get reviews, get direction locations. Of course, you're not gonna build this from scratch. That would be a monumental job. You would just utilize the Google Maps API. Very simple example, an unbelievably obvious example, I admit, but you can think about this in terms of all kinds of different types of applications. So use APIs to extend the capability of your website or your web app or your application, it doesn't have necessarily have to be on the web. Accessing these third-party APIs will save you a lot of time so you can concentrate on your core functionality that you're trying to deliver. The second reason to use APIs is to save you bugs, save you from bugs. Again, the two reasons, time and bugs. You wanna avoid time, it's wasting time on non-central functionality in terms, of, in terms of what you want to deliver. And number two, you wanna eliminate debugging. Debugging is the most time-consuming aspect of development, you could argue, probably, probably the most frustrating. So when you are licensing a third-party API, you don't have to worry about the details and the functionality behind the scenes. Uh, that's all taken care, for, taken care of for you. You just access the API, that's it. A lot less bugs for you to contend with. Think about it this way. Over time, functionality for an API or functionality for some backend system that you're accessing through an API needs to be updated on occasions. Things change. So if you are building the application yourself and you need to constantly update it, that's work, it's a pain in the butt. But if you're using a third-party API, the assumption is that they will upgrade it and they will keep debugging and refining it as they have many users as they need to. 
years ago, I decided to build our own blogging engine using PHP Laravel. That's what we were using at the time. And it was quite easy to do with Laravel, quite easy to do, in fact. The problem was is that it had to always be updated. It had to always be updated based on whatever circumstances came about, security issues, uh, functionality we want to add, whereas WordPress is all there, turnkey. We don't have to worry about security issues with it because it is being updated. Now, don't get me wrong. WordPress can be a security nightmare if you're using a lot of plugins, which you shouldn't, you know, shouldn't use. Use plugins with caution. Use the commercial ones, make sure they're vetted. But anyway, that's another story. Point is, is that I decided to shut down our own blogging engine because might as well just use, Word, might as well just use WordPress. Same thing, I had built at one point my own newsletter system. And it was pretty, pretty robust. But again, as time went by, I didn't want to be in the business of continuously trying to keep my uh, newsletter software up to date. I wanted to just work on my core business. So I shut that down and I just went with, went with a third party to uh, manage the whole newsletter thing. So APIs can be, you know, broadly implementing a complete, well, an API is not using a CMS. But that was just an example of reusing third party code so that I'd save my, my, uh, my man hours, my coding hours, not trying to maintain a non, non-central aspect of whatever services that I was providing. Anyway, so Google Maps is a better example. I'm not going to build a mapping application. I'm just going to use Google Maps, and that just saves me a heck of a lot of time with all this great functionality for a minimal cost. So let me conclude with my top three rules of software development. Number one, reuse. Number two, reuse. Number three, reuse. Reusing other people's code, whether it is through an API or whether you use a complete application like WordPress or a newsletter system, only makes sense. Don't go looking for code to write as a developer. First thing you do when a project lands on you, on your lap as a developer, you look around to see what else is out there, whether it be APIs or full, full-blown full systems, open source or otherwise, that you can leverage. Because trust me, there's going to be plenty of code for you to write in your career. Don't go looking for it. All right, I hope you found this video useful. I'm Uncle Steph. By the way, I have a mentoring program slash bootcamp. If you want to be mentored by me, somebody who's been coding since the early 90s, check out the link below, unclesteph.com.